Hi, hi. <laughs> this is Juliet here in the Healing Gardens, in the Glastonbury Healing Gardens. And uh, the sun's come out. I'm feeling a little bit, a uh, little bit dishevelled. But you know, that's normal. That's natural. It's not normal for me to be dishevelled, but it's natural, isn't it? So I've been down here in the Healing Gardens for uh, a couple of hours now. Just uh, people have been coming, visiting. I've been sharing with them about different plants and uh, giving them raspberries, things like that, raspberry canes. And I'm just mesmerized by the beauty down here. It's so magical. And uh, it's like it has its own character this year. Every year is different. It's a different, um, looks different. It's got a different amount of plants, different plants, and it's absolutely amazing. So uh, I'll give you a little walk around, a little look in a moment. But I'm just deciding to do this video because I want to remind you or tell you about it if you don't already know the Outsiders social network. So I know that there are a lot of people who are very um, disturbed or trying to come to terms with or distressed at the moment by the fact that they are either at loggerheads with their family or friends or they can't speak to their family or friends or they're kind of um, just alienated from, just like uncomfortable with or uh, feel like you know, they can't really be authentic with their family or they feel pain around that their family seems to live in a different world now. All those kind of things. And uh, a lot of pain, do you know that emotional pain is the same, has the same receptors in the brain as physical pain. So emotional pain is no less than physical pain. It's just that often you can't see it, you can't see the injury. And one of the big injuries that's happening at the moment is to our relationships, so relational injuries. And there's nothing more painful than suddenly not feeling able to be close or, or to be in communication with or feel safe with people we love or people we're connected with. And I, from listening across the internet for months now, I've heard other people saying, like that the, they're friends, they can't talk them to talk to them anymore, and it's all around this um, a horrible thing that's happening that's been going on for the last fourteen months, and now the so-called solution that if you get this treatment that comes out of the end of a needle, then you're going to be okay. Well. That my personal view is that this is not the case, but whatever is that people are polarized around this and people are fragmented in their families. So we've set up the social network, the outsiders social network, so that we can talk about this, so we can share our feelings, share our experiences. Because I've talked about it a lot, but I know that there are many of you who might see this video that have never had a conversation about it at all may not even have been able to disclose to anyone the amount of pain that you're feeling. Or you may have friends or family that you know is going through a lot of pain. I know a close friend of mine uh, was very distressed, uh, even today when she heard that her son had um, just gone for this pro procedure. And uh, yeah, it's really, really distressing for her. So when we need to heal from something, if, we, if there's some compassionate listening where we can share our feelings and there's some compassionate listening and other people can feel our pain, feel what we're going through and, and they can listen in um, a receptive, compassionate way, and there's a space there for what you're going through and it helps that healing process. And if we don't heal it, if we don't have a space where we can talk about it and process it, it gets pushed away in our psyche. Um, maybe we get separated forever from our family or our friends. Maybe we never try to rebuild that connection. Or maybe it goes into even more conflict. Or maybe we do carry on being connected with our family or friends and there's this distance there, there's this coldness or this place where we can never share or never connect. Uh, so this kind of, the, the relationship kind of atrophies in some way. 
So when we can talk, when there's a way of actually discussing what's going on and how we